Well, the search continues for a missing mobile mother. A 26-year-old was last seen Saturday near Covington, Louisiana. This is a developing story our Letitia Bush has been tracking for you. She has your update now. Checking in to the studio. Letitia? Melinda Denny's family is hopeful they will see her again, but the moments leading up to her disappearance have them on edge. Melinda Denny has family in Mobile praying for her safe return. She has four very small children that need her very, very much. And that, you know, Melinda is a very good hearted individual. Uh, she's young, 26, so she's a young mom. Um, she has her whole life ahead of her still. Denny's aunt, Pamela Madden Watt, says the family has not seen her since she left Mobile Thursday. We are consumed by the thoughts and the, the worry of where she at, is at and if she is all right. Watt says Denny traveled to New Orleans to pick up Jonathan Nall, also from Mobile. Thursday night, Denny called her mom and said she was headed home. Denny's cousin, Stephanie Madden Hoover, explains what happened next. Then when they did not show up in Mobile, her mother called her cell phone on Friday and Jonathan now answered the phone and said, um, you know, you can't talk to Melinda right now. After a conversation with her son early Saturday morning, Nall's mother asked deputies to check on the couple. St. Tammany's Sheriff's Office says they were in a parking lot near Covington in Nall's red Jeep Cherokee. Deputies said they seemed to be okay. Saturday morning, Nall was involved in a two-hour standoff with deputies at a gas station. He had a gun to his head, threatening to kill himself, and there was no Denny in sight. Denny's family hopes she can hear their message. That we love her, and we miss her, and her babies miss her, and we want her home. You know, she deserves to be home. Say Tammany Sheriff's Office says Nall is not talking about Denny. Investigators are searching the area. You just saw the video where she was last seen. And if you know anything about the case, call Mobile County Sheriff's Office.